like I'm driving uh, Lambo today. Let's go. It's got that tartar sauce in it. Yeah, this definitely looks like a spot where I might find some, some gators. Lesson for anyone watching is if you're gonna build a festival, hire people, hire companies to do things for you, pay them. What's up guys? Today I am flying to Fort Myers, Florida. I will be managing a festival out there called <clears throat> All Gas No Breaks. It's like um, a car expo festival type thing where I think there's gonna be a bunch of exotic cars, some DJs, etc. And it's with a new promoter I've never worked with, so it's gonna be exciting. Um, I'll be there for about a week. And right now I'm currently, it's, I'm gonna fly out of Seattle in the next couple hours, but I have a little bit of time, so I'm going to the gym just to get a little, little pre-pump in for the week ahead. I'm trying to just front load myself with, with exercise and then afterwards I'll have a chance to work out again. So yeah, should be fun, I'm looking forward to it. crazy to me like how much better I feel when my day goes when I go to the gym early in the morning. Kind of a slower one for me. I only had about an hour and 15 minutes but I pretty much focused on core today and uh, took a bit of a swim for cardio. I'm not 100% sure if I thought through my travel plans because I, I'll only be there for a week but I, um, I might end up having to go to Texas City for the property if it closes on the 14th. I only have a backpack with me, like four or five outfits max, like two pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks. So this could be, this could not be good. I think though if I end up going to Texas City, I'll probably swing through Vegas, visit a friend, and hopefully just get access to laundry there. Favorite pizza place in the airport. Just made it to Fort Myers. It's almost midnight here. Uh, first time for me here at this airport. It's chill. There's a Starbucks that's still open and it's almost midnight, which is pretty um, pretty crazy, but I'm gonna take an Uber over to the uh, hotel and hopefully be able to check in. Get ready for our first load in day tomorrow. Just got to my hotel, Hyatt Re Regency. Oh, I don't know, I eat something weird, I think, because my stomach is not very happy right now. Well, I was able to check into my room, which is a good sign, and I'm on the 18th floor. Got my own room, so that's a good start. Again, this is like a promoter that I've never worked with before and I've never even met the guy in person It's just been all like phone communications Honestly, I don't even know what he looks like. So there was a little bit of risk obviously with uh, with taking the gig But so far knock on wood everything seems to be uh, Seems to be okay. Let's uh, let's check out the room. Well, here's the room review. First of all you walk in It's like this massive hallway Nice little coffee stand area closet. Here's the bathroom. Holy moly. And there's a balcony. Oh my goodness gracious. This is, this is insane. During the day, I'll get a better clock. Look at that, a clock on the mirror. Here's the bedroom. Nice and spacious. Again, with a nice view, I'm sure, in the morning. Oh, let's see, there is a balcony. Anyway, oh, let's go the way up, let's take a peek. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna have to take a good look out here. Okay, so. There's that view. <laughs> oh man, I'm tired. It's like 9 a.m. Feels like six for me. Not too bad of a view, huh? Looks like we're right at that sea level though, that's for sure. Wow. There's a little deck area out here at the hotel. Mighty pretty. Love the red interior. Like I'm driving a uh, Lambo today. Let's go. <laughs> yes, you can go. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! We cruising. Everything in this car is like a damn button, like a spaceship. <laughs> Even the start thing is like this lever. It's so cool. I know I probably.
probably seem like a complete noob, but it's because I've never driven one of these before, so please excuse my noobishness. This thing is pretty sick. You already know we got to give the, uh, the local favorite Culver's a try. I just saw this place on Twitter too, and they were saying it's pretty good. Never had it before. So apparently this is like the energy drink that The Rock has and he's created and it's pretty good zero sugar it's got all kinds of like amino acids the caffeine comes from green tea and coffee which i guess is good um I had a little bit this morning it's got a kind of a kind of a long list of random things that i don't know much about but uh it's not too bad yeah you know i guess uh, the rock was gonna be at this festival but for uh filming reasons he wasn't able to make it which is kind of a bummer i got the the North Atlantic cod sandwich. So I hope that's good. Did I did I totally mess it up? All right, it looks pretty good so far. If you guys are like Culver's diehard fans, then let me know if I totally screwed up this order and I should have gotten something else. I didn't want to get the fries and I don't drink soda. So this was just kind of the first thing that came to mind. I try to eat pretty healthy, like not vegan per se, but I'm kind of leaning towards that vegan route. So this seemed like a, a good in-between for me to have. And I'm pretty hungry even though it's 12 o'clock here, but it's 9 a.m. Pacific. I think that energy drink made me hungry. Hmm, it's actually pretty good. Dang, it's got that tartar sauce in it. I'm with it, I'm with it, it fucks. It's really pretty out here. This is Bonita Springs area, Florida. It's so funny, I was just here with the Aya boys doing a sugar shack and now we're back <laughs> now i'm back doing this car show which is a little change of pace well i just had a call with the management company with one of the artists that i tm for and we did a little tour recap chat and it was pretty good um one of the things about working for myself as a freelancer in this space is negotiating my rates and rate increases so essentially i asked for a little bit more money moving forward and it was received pretty well. I mean, like, it's not like I'm asking out of the blue. It's like, you know, I do the job and I do even more work and the band was already aware of this conversation. So for anyone watching, like, don't think that you can just go and ask for more money without really validating like why you need it if you deserve it. Um, you know, I did work hard on the last tour. And so it was sort of a justified conversation. In fact, it, like that, we, I think we all knew this conversation was coming. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more work done. I'm waiting on Joe. He's the guy that I'm working with at this festival here um, to be done with a couple meetings. Then we're gonna go to the festival grounds and I need to buy a measuring um, wheel and some chalk or some spray paint because I have to mark out parking spots for these exotic cars. I think we have like 170 cars coming. And they all get, I think, a 10 by 20 space. So I have to go out and mark that on the field, which I'd like to get done today, or at least a large number of them today, because yeah, the show's in like two, two day, or yeah, two and a half days. So I just got here. This is uh, JetBlue Park. Just doing a quick drive through. It looks like this is where we're gonna have the car show. And I'd really love to get out and mark the grounds here possible and then over there is like going to be a vip section stage is going to go over here i believe i need to actually double check on that i'm really hoping that the stadium team have a uh, some measuring equipment so we can measure out these plots for the cars and vendors that come out because right now it's just a big open plot and if we have 160 of them i wager it might be a little bit hectic if we allow them to sort of park themselves and be all willy-nilly, right? We want to keep these rows pretty clear. It looks like in this field, we're going to put VIP parking on like this section, maybe where those light posts are, and then keep additional GA parking on that side. Over here, this is more VIP parking. Over here, we have VIP tent. This appears to be like a paid VIP promotional thing. Car show parking on that side of the tent. And then over here, I have to check the map, I think it's gonna be box office over here somewhere. And then I gotta check what we're gonna use this for. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this is gonna be all of the car show here. And then the stage is gonna go right here, um, facing that way. So it's kind of like little, little dance ground 
uh, right in front of the stage and then the car show will be right behind them. I'm guessing that's an F&B tent, possibly. Here's a quick look at where the VIP is gonna be. All these tables are gonna be moved out. We're gonna have furniture, couches, tables all put in, bar and food over there. So I guess this uh, JetBlue Park is for the Red Sox. It's where they do their spring training. I was super confused because I was like, why do they have a stadium here in Florida? So it's all for their spring training stuff, I guess. So overall, the uh, walkthrough went pretty well. There's definitely a few things that I think have been maybe not overlooked, but not thought through thoroughly. And we uncovered a few of those things today. Tenting company schedule, for example, um, like the invoice had a few extra tents that we didn't know why were there. So we were able to save some money. We were also able to talk about timelines for when those staff would be get there, be getting there and who would be building what. The VIP section, like that needs to be basically entirely rethought um, because we have the tent, it's like a, a 50 by 100 or something like that. But there's a ton of old tables and equipment in there that have to get moved out by the stadium. And we have the furniture vendor who was kind of up in the air until we had the call with him today um, about drop off time, equipment that we needed, etc. I still don't know much about the staging. It sounds like we're going with mobile staging, staging industries, which is pretty standard for a smaller event of this size. Tomorrow we have a, a meeting with the stadium staff at 2 p.m. local time, and we're gonna hash through all the details with them. And then hopefully by the end of tomorrow night, we will be locked and uh, ready to go because Friday is gonna be the main load in day for like all of the other um, moving vendors and pieces and things like that. Man, I know I'm not going like super fast right now, but this thing is a damn beast. This thing goes fast. I can like, if I barely touch the, uh, if I touch the gas, it, it just rips. You seen that meme? It's like, life like this sure is sweet. Yeah, it sure is. So today is Thursday, we have about two days until the, until the show, and um, today we're expecting a couple of things to happen. We're gonna have the furniture vendor show up, um, get most of the VIP staged, and then probably doing some ground markings. Um, we have a meeting with the JetBlue team just to kind of go over their logistics and, and their operation. And then, um, yeah, and then right now I'm gonna I'm gonna go hit the gym at the hotel, trying to keep up on this fitness thing. Oh uh, yes. It's not bad, they have like a, a second area here, but the music is so chill, it makes me wanna sleep. Leaving the hotel, it's about noon. Um, I had to swing through a local distributor. We got a bunch of free energy drinks that we're gonna pick up and hand out at the festival. Another nice day in Florida. I say I could get used to this, but I'm saying that inside of a nice AC controlled car. <laughs> when I go outside, the humidity is pretty, uh, pretty intense. I think I'm here. Please hold while I try to connect you. Okay. Hmm. So they just let me in without talking to anyone. That's cool. Now I just gotta figure out where these, uh, where these energy drinks are. Let's see. So here's our entire delivery. It's not very much, but I guess it'll do. I'm just gonna load this bad boy up. Yeah, this definitely looks like a spot where I might find some, some gators. They're in there somewhere, I bet. Just did a full walkthrough um, of the perimeter at the stadium here for fence lines. It's kind of funny that this stuff wasn't already done in advance. Um, if I had known it wasn't, I would have come out sooner, but um, working with somebody new, it's like you kind of have to figure out what they mean when they say certain things or don't say certain things. So now I'm gonna go mark the, uh, I'm gonna mark the um, parking spots for the cars themselves with like a paint roller. I'll probably mark the spots for the food trucks. They need 10 feet of clearance on either side. So it sounds like there's some sort of issue with like getting payments out the uh, fencing vendor just called me and said they're unsure if they can fulfill the order this last minute because 
they've been waiting on payments for a while. It's kind of a bummer because I used to work on a team with somebody that um, was also in a, in a rough financial position, meaning they couldn't pay people. And it ultimately led to the downfall of the company and just way too much stress. Lesson for anyone watching is if you're gonna build a festival or if you're gonna hire people, hire companies to do things for you, pay them and pay them early and pay them upfront for whatever they're asking because like it's so much headache not to, you know? And if you don't have the finances to do it, then there's other issues that need to get sorted out. You know, maybe personal issues or personal banking issues. Like that shouldn't have to fall on everyone else. But we're gonna see what happens. We'll see if they can pull some strings and, and make something happen. Um, otherwise, I just mark the ground for all the cars, for the game truck, for the food trucks. I don't know what we're gonna do about merch because the uh, permitting guy isn't aware of it and he threw a fit today in our team meeting. So we'll see. It's gonna be an interesting day tomorrow for sure. We can beat the sun, come early, super yeah, early. I would like to do that, so I'm gonna call. If they're here, if they're here. I want yeah. them to get here early. Bro, look at the, look at the rain on the road. It's like tropical storm conditions. That's as far as our stage got built for tonight. I guess they probably are waiting for the, um, Storm to clear out, I'll come back tomorrow, get that going.